just going to do a second example of a sign analysis um, with a slightly more complicated looking gra uh, equation. So again, if a function is going to change signs, it's only going to change signs as an x-intercept or a vertical asymptote. If you happen to have a hole that appeared in what would have been an x-intercept, in the sign analysis, you would have to treat it as an x-intercept as a potential switching point. But that's only the case if that hole is on the x-axis. In this case, the hole is not. So we're only concerned with the x-intercept and the vertical asymptote. So I just, let's get some, here we go. All right, so we're gonna set up, once again, what we're setting up is basically our x-axis. And we'll mark zero. We'll mark our x-intercept of negative one-half. And we'll mark our vertical asymptote at four. Then we'll look for a point to the left of negative one half. Now, we could think about plugging that point in, let's say it's negative five, to this part here. That, that wouldn't be wrong. However, it would be slightly more complicated. The easier thing is to plug it into your factored form. There's two reasons there. It's a lot easier to see. It's a lot easier to plug it in. For example, negative 5 minus 4 is a lot easier to do in my head than whatever's happening down here. The other thing that we can also think about is no matter what we plug in, as long as we don't plug in 3, which we won't because there's a, we won't because we know there's a hole there. As long as we don't plug in 3, we only have to plug it into these two factors because whatever gets plugged in here and here will always equal to 1. So my choice, negative 5, I only really have to plug in to this factor and this factor. If I plug in negative 5 here, I would get negative 10 plus 1, which would be negative. And if I plug in negative 5 here, I'll get negative 5 minus 4, which would still be negative, and a negative divided by a negative is positive. Once again, whenever you can plug in 0, we need a number in between. We're going to do it. 2 times 0 plus 1, positive. 0 minus 4, negative. And a positive divided by a negative is negative. And then finally, let's plug in a number that's bigger than 4. 10 sounds good to me. 2 times 10 plus 1, super positive. 10 minus 4, also positive. So once again, when you're faced with standard and factored, you've likely already factored it to figure all these things out. So you want to use the factored form when you're doing your sign analysis. The other thing you want to think about is that you don't have to plug in a point. You don't have to plug it into the factors that make one. You only have to plug it into the remaining factors. And of course, I forgot to mention this earlier, when I pick my number between negative one and four, I can pick any number I want, except I probably shouldn't pick three since it's going to be a hole and it would be undefined if I plugged it in.